Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here, and thank you so much for tuning in to episode one of our Town Hall 10 Let's Play. Um, I've never done a Town Hall 10 Let's Play, though I have done the Farm to Max series on my main account. This is Jasper, my mini, and he is a brand new Town Hall 10. So, the question that everybody asks is, what should I upgrade first? What should I do first on my new Town Hall 10? So this is what we're gonna do today. I've got a lot of gold, but not enough. I didn't max my gold storage, my bad, but we'll make it work. I've got a ton of elixir, a ton of dark elixir, and I've actually got more elixir sitting in my treasury. So today should be a very good day. So without really a lot of thought, the first thing that you want to do as a new Town Hall 10 is actually upgrade your laboratory. And that's true for all town halls, uh, town hall levels. So let's just get into it. Let's just start it up. It's only a four day upgrade, but it will cost us half of our elixir at 4 million elixir. So starting off our town hall 10 let's play with this laboratory upgrade in three, two, one, bam. Now that's done. That actually opens up my treasury a little bit or my storage is a little bit, but before we actually do any raiding, because I do want to get a little bit more gold before we go further, I do want to use up some dark elixir. So I'm going to go ahead and upgrade my archer queen. That's only 139,000 dark elixir. Last time I did this, last time I farmed through a tunnel 10 in an official let's play on my main account, level 31 queen was much more expensive and it took seven days to upgrade, not five and a half. Like, what is this? This is crazy, super easy. All right, so let's do this. 139,000 Dark Elixir. This is a day one priority if you've got enough Dark Elixir for it. Let's go in three, two, one, bam. And I just so happen to have a Book of Heroes, so I'm going to go ahead and use those Book of Heroes and get the Queen back to level 31 right now. Let's go in three, two, one, bam. And there we go, guys. Now we have plenty of space in our in our storages to do a couple of attacks. I do have a Queen Walk Hog attack. I just got a six pack in a war using this exact same strategy. So I figured I would show you guys what it's all about. So let me find a great base looking for, well, everything. We want elixir, we want dark elixir, we want gold. We want everything at the first start of any town hall, but especially dark elixir because we have a lot of, a lot of hero upgrades to do and a lot of elixir upgrades to do like army camps, barracks, dark barracks, the spell factory. There's a lot that needs to be done here. Uh, so let me find a base with pretty much everything and you and I will smack it together. This one has a lot of loot, but it's a lot stronger than I would like to hit, especially because I've got a queen walk. I don't want to hit a base with single targeting infernos like that. So again, let me find a perfect base and you and I will smack it together. Okay, next search. Perfect. Hopefully that didn't look too awkward. I'm not even going to cut the video. Here is a dead Town Hall 10 with over 600,000 gold, half a million elixir, and 4,000 dark elixir. Oh, baby. This is going to be glorious. All right, so let's get the uh, the queen, the, um, the healers in. Starting this attack off with a queen walk, and I'm going to go for the enemy queen first and foremost. I've got hogs. I've got 21 level 5 hogs, and it's going to be absolutely glorious. So I say we should start our rage early because those defenses are doing a number on my queen let's also go uh let's wait for the mortar one two three let's get the uh the queen to break in and let's drop a poison on the enemy queen here so that we can get her down boom baby oh wow that was so quick love of 31 queen is an absolute beast all right so now what we need to do is we need to figure out which direction the queen is going to go so that we can send the king and the hogs uh, on the other side basically we have the queen here or the, the enemy king there normally what i like to do is actually trade kings I like to put my king on the enemy king but in this case he's too far into the base to do that so we're going to have to use the king to distract defenses for the enemy uh, there are for the hogs so in, in this case the Queen's going left and there's a lot of dangerous defenses out there So I say we send the hogs in front of the Queen to save her from death All right, so let's put the uh, the Kings distracting very nicely now. So I say we put our hogs in now uh, Are you gonna distract which are perfect? All right, so hogs down four finger deployment pop the Kings ability and now let's put a heal and let's put an early poison on this uh, in, on this King not to kill him but to slow him down all right, let's uh, baby dragon actually that bomb tower out there. We also want a heal in the core because of the infer or the Teslas. And then lastly, guys, let's get a heal early on the hogs that are entering into the wizard tower compartment. Now, I'm pretty confident that we're going to three star at this point, but let's just uh, keep an eye open and see what happens. Um, we have no heals, but fortunately, our queen still has her special ability. So this is good. 
Let's actually drop a wizard on... I, I'm trying to get the wizard to go for the camps, but for some reason, they just don't want to target the camps. What about the archers? Yeah, the archers will target the camps. That's fine. Cool. So, guys, with the queen walk hog attack, we're going to triple this base, get tons of loot, and be able to use it to fix our... Uh, or not fix, but upgrade our base to max. Um, it looks like the last defense is going to be a bomb tower. Unfortunately, that's a really, really bad one for our hogs. Likely, most of them are going to die. Oh, wow. Dude, that is so much damage. The, the bomb tower OP, man. Seriously. Now, pop my queen's ability at the very end, and there is our three-star. There we go. Very, very nice. And with our, our loot bonus, which is not that great here in Crystal League 2, but that is over, or almost, 700,000 gold. Five and a half hundred thousand elixir if that made sense and 4200 dark elixir beautiful find and that is ag exactly what we need to be doing in order to fix or to um i keep trying to say fix that rush because that series just ended but um to uh to upgrade this tunnel 10 now while i wait i'm gonna go and request for some hogs poi for the video please thank you um i'm gonna go and request for that and while we wait i'm gonna show a replay guys a replay that i got yesterday a dead tunnel 7 worth over 750,000 golden elixir. You can imagine when I found this, I was like, oh baby, and yes, I'm still using the Queen Walk Hogs. This is not, by the way, the best strategy to use um, whenever you're trying to farm up elixir. Um, it does cost a lot of elixir. It costs a lot of dark elixir as well. But what I was doing before I did the Tunnel 10 Let's Play was I was only warring with Jasper. And, um, and so I was just using Queen Walk Hogs in war and keeping it cooked. So I, you know, instead of deleting the armies and wasting, I figured I would show you guys how I was using um, uh, this army for farming and for war uh, at the same time. So Jasper coming in now, taking out this air defense. And what we're going to do here is we're going to see the queen take out the wizard tower and then start coming around the base, which is really, really good. So the next step is figure out where the king's going to go. And I can honestly say I don't remember. Oh, I, I know what I do here. All right. So since there's no air defenses within range of anything, I'm going to use some hogs. We're going to take out that wizard tower and then we're trying to create a defensive funnel because I want the majority of my hogs to go into the core I guarantee you there's a bunch of Teslas in the core and honestly Teslas are death for the for the hog riders so um, drop the heal early make sure to heal whenever hogs are dealing with a Tesla farm there's likely some already disarmed giant bombs in the core as well fortunately it's a dead base so all the traps are already used and um, there's no king at it really I was trying to figure out where's my king like why haven't I used my king well I don't have a king in this attack that's all right so the hogs under heal doing a fantastic job poison over the king to slow him down to keep him from really destroying my hogs and now it is all about watching these di wow okay you don't see a lot of uh, uh raged hogs but they do a great work i guess what that meant was that i was confident i felt good that my queen was going to be able to survive without the rage spell so all of the defenses are now down hogs are getting that last wizard tower and now they're going to start to clean up this level 17 king still kind of mulling around uh but i think the hogs going to be able to handle them just fine or the queen the queen might step up and oh yeah queen doesn't like that king get down Oh, yes. Wow. Is that is that king about to wipe out all those hogs? Oh, man. That's rough. All right. Well, the king died. He's floating above the wall now. That's hilarious. When a king dies while jumping a wall, that's what he does. He's, he literally dies while floating in the air, and then he stays there. Uh, so sweet. So with a few hogs left over, guys, this queen is going to lock on to over one and a half million golden elixir combined in a very respectable amount of dark well over 3,000 dark elixir which is kind of my minimum anytime i'm farming so pop the queen's ability get her through the wall the three star is going to commence in just a moment I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, speed up through the cleanup here so there's a three star on a dead tunnel nine lots of loot tons of loot down here in crystal league this is definitely where you want to be if you're starting a new town hall at least tunnel nine and ten like if you're starting a new tunnel that's at ten and down crystal league is where it's at for easy loot remember guys when you start a new town hall especially tunnel nine and ten you need a ton of elixir and you want to be at a low town hall level that way you can start barching or whatever likely i'm going to barge my first few videos aside from this one so we've got some client castle troops i say we go out and we do our last attack there sorry i got a message on discord that distracted me so i have um Again, the Queen Walk Hog attack just didn't want to waste the armies, but I have no king this time, but I do have max hogs in the clan castle. So let me find another base, something amazing. We want a ton of gold, we want a ton of elixir, and we want a ton of dark elixir. So, give me a minute.
Here we go, guys. Ste. STE. Ste has over half a million golden elixir and 4,400 dark elixir. Great base to find, guys. And it looks like with multi targeting infernos, we're going to need to get our hogs in quick because it does slowly grind away at five hogs at a time. In case you're new at 10 10 and are unaware of some of the nuances of 10 10, including the infernos, it attacks five troops at a time. So uh, let's first, I guess, we'll get the queen walk in and we're going to hit the enemy queen quickly. All right, we need a rage. I don't think I can use the... There we go. Enemy queen goes down. Now I'm going to wait until um, the cannon goes down. Please go, go south. Go south. Don't go for the wizard tower. Yes, perfect. We're going to get rid of the expo right now. This is great. And if I need to, I can go ahead and pop my ability. Let's pu uh, put a wizard out there, actually, for uh, helping to tighten up the funnel and everything. So the expo goes down. The Tesla... Okay. Oh, goodness. The queen is taking damage so fast. Okay. I'm going to pop my ability. I'm going to be safe. Very good. Okay. So, queen makes it through. We're going to actually want to break her into this corner. Let's wait for the mortar. One, two, three. All right, because of that air defense, we don't want the Queen's healers to get caught up. All right, let's get a couple of wizards to tighten everything up. And I think now we're in a good position to where we can start deploying some hog riders. So let's put a baby dragon out there. Never mind, seeking air mine. Poop, man. All right, let's get um, Archer on the corner huts. Blind Castle, Max Hog out there on the corner. And then the rest of the hogs in heavy right there down the line now we need to at least clear the core and get the dark elixir out of the storage that's kind of my priority that's really what i'm wanting here so um hogs if you guys could please survive at least halfway through that would be fantastic yes all right let's drop the poison for that skeleton trap i don't think i have enough in me to uh to stick out the backside. but good news we have some wizards. I think these wizards are definitely going to be able to grab a lot of this loot. And there's not a lot left over. So that is great. Also, wow. Actually, you know what? These hogs are doing a fantastic job of clearing up these defenses. I pretty much counted out my hog riders. But this is great. Let me drop the poison out here on this king. So that the hogs don't get wrecked by the king. And also that skeleton traps can be lured in. Uh, queen's going to help out. And there we go. That's actually the last defense that I'm aware of. Unless the hogs decide they want to go for something else. Dude, that worked out perfectly. Unfortunately, this king, I think, is going to kill all the hogs. Come on, king. Come on, king. Come on, die already. Die, king. Oh, my goodness. One hog survived that entire attack. That is crazy. All right, we need another... Uh, we need a couple of wizards and stuff in here to start cleaning up. We've only got one hog and a lot of cleanup in only 30 seconds. Ah! Okay. It's all about these wizards, guys. If these wizards can't get through that wall, they're going to get the elixir out of the storage, but I don't think we're going to be able to get this dark elixir out of the storage unless they really just get lucky. Target the same wall. Come on. Come on, wizards. Okay, they're targeting the same wall. Ten seconds left. Oh, no. Dang it, man. And the queen's making her way all the way across. So, yeah, and then they start targeting the town hall. That is a huge bummer, guys. So, the... Ugh. We missed out on some loot. That's a bummer. Okay, well, there you go. Still, we got a lot of gold. I mean, uh, just to be honest, the main priority was getting gold for the video. Um, but a lot of elixir, a lot of dark elixir would have been nice as well. Um, I won't be using the Queen Wall Cogs for farming anymore. I'll be switching probably over to just Barch to get a ton of elixir to get a lot of the elixir upgrades. But hey, I still had a good time. We almost got it 90%. No defenses left. It just came down to clean up. I probably shouldn't have burned my baby dragon on the corner. I just didn't know that there was a seeking air mine right now, right there, right uh, to destroy her, uh, to destroy her at the very beginning. But all good, man. All good. Now, let's upgrade some stuff. Again, we're here to see what to do to start a new Town Hall 10. I need to remove this bush. 10 seconds to wait. I can't pop over to my progress base. By the way, if this is the first episode, first video you've ever seen on my channel, we're about to go check out something called the progress base. And what I do is I use this to keep track of what needs to be upgraded on my base. So everything on the top is already maxed out. That's stuff that you don't need to upgrade right now as a Town Hall 10. They're already maxed out as a Town Hall 9. Everything below are stuff that needs to be upgraded. Unfortunately, there's a lot of it. But it, you, you, basically, the, the, the line comes to mind. How do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. 
right? That's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot to do. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of elephant, but one bite at a time and eventually we'll get it. So let's talk about the number one priority with gold. The number one priority with gold, aside from the new stuff, yes, we're going to get the new defenses. We're going to get the new traps. We got to get the new, uh, the new, where is it? The new dark elixir drill. We need to get all that stuff. But the number one priority on your base with your gold is your army camp, or I'm sorry, is your clan castle. I was looking at army camps. Those are number one priority too. But with gold, you want to get the clan castle, all right? And it just dawned on me what just happened here. We have... We have one more star to get 420,000 gold, which will put us over that 7 million mark. So let's actually take our queen. I'm going to go snipe a town hall right quick. Just a second. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. Dead tunnel 10 with tons of loot. Um, I only have my heroes because I was really intending on just sniping a, a town hall, but I can't pass this up. Look at all this gold up here, guys. All right. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to pop the king. We're going to get the queen, and hopefully the queen can get... All of this gold out of the gold mine and maybe another gold mine because then if we pass 7 million gold, then we're in business. All right, we're in absolute 100% business because we need 7 million to upgrade that clan castle. Again, I was going to use the uh, the loot bonus, the star bonus to get that 7 million. But it looks like the king's actually going to get it for us. There we go. 7 million gold finding a dead tunnel 10 and I don't even care if the king dies. It's all good. Queen, I would like for you to turn around and go left. Please go left. Okay, cannon goes down. Oh, baby, guys, the loot in this attack is going to be stupid. Oh, man. All right, let's pop the queen's ability now. We're going to get that elixir collector. We're going to get the elixir storage. Please get the uh, archer tower next, please. Thank you. Okay, gold mine. That's fine. That's fine. Go, 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 go. Hurry. Okay, and let's close up before the queen completely dies. And look at that. With just the heroes, 400,000 gold in elixir. I love crystal freaking league. It's amazing. All right, so we have the loot we needed. We don't even need the star bonus. Now we can upgrade this clan castle. 7 million gold. It's a seven day upgrade. But what it does is it allows you to bring siege machines. All right, yes, it gives you an extra troop capacity of five to hold whenever you attack or defend. But what's most important about this clan castle upgrade is that it can finally hold a siege machine. The, the wall wrecker, the battle blimp, both are amazing and make your attack twice as powerful that's i'm, I'm gonna just throw that number out there it's probably twice as powerful with a max wall record or a siege or a, a battle blimp in your clan castle so let's upgrade this right here right now it's worth sinking all of our gold into and don't worry i'll be getting all the new defenses and all the new traps in the next episode or between episodes if it's not all that interesting so seven million gold three two one bam and there we go. Again, number one priority. It is done. This is good stuff. And let's go ahead and move it across the map here. And we're going to put it in the maxed side because the clan castle only gets one upgrade as a town hall 10. Now, we need to talk about what is next. I got like 100,000 gold. That's not very much gold. Do I have anything in my treasury, by the way? Oh, I do. Okay, let's collect that. Tons of elixir. Good. We need elixir. So next big priority. We don't have enough dark elixir for anything, really. The laboratory is rolling, so we can't spend dark elixir anywhere. Uh, the king's going to cost us 129,000 dark elixir. So again, no way to spend dark elixir is elixir. And I think the number one priority for any town hall is to max the army camps as soon as you possibly can. So let's upgrade this army camp. 6.75 million elixir. I've only got 7 million, so this is going to completely wipe me out, but it's totally 100% worth it. Let's do it in three, two, one, bam. And there we go. That is huge. And let's move it across. And I just realized that... We need to um, we need to talk about something else actually, and that is the spell factory. Yes, the barracks are going to unlock the miners. Those are huge for farming dark elixir, but they're too expensive in the elixir, so it's not a top priority. Also, the dark barracks will unlock the bowlers. That's a huge priority as well, but not top priority because you can do everything you need to do without bowlers at first. But the spell factory, I'm going to move it across here because it really is a top priority. 3.2 million elixir, sure it unlocks the clone spell, but you can see the spell storage capacity increases by two. That that is huge and that will be my number one i guess my number two my number three top priority after the army camp that i just upgraded we're gonna upgrade we're gonna unlock and upgrade the spell factory as soon as you possibly can but i don't have any loot terrible thing right it's a terrible thing to realize but look at this clan games for those of you out there that love loot 
you need to play the clan games. You need to max the clan games with the clan because the, uh, the what you get from it is absolutely amazing. So I say we go ahead and collect all this. I'm going to get the gems. I'm going to get the wall rings because I'm going to get the five training potions over here. I'm going to get the gems. I'm going to get, I guess, the power potions and the book of heroes. Let me add all this in. Boom, 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 boom. And now I've got another book of heroes for upgrading the queen or the king, whichever immediately, just like we did at the beginning of the video, but that didn't give us any loot. So we are technically stuck. Let me see. Can I get any of the new stuff? I can get the new cannon. Okay, let's get the new cannon. That's going to be uh, a 10 second upgrade and it didn't cost us anything. So there we go. Let's also get the new archer tower. That doesn't cost anything either. And it's only one builder there are one minute. There we go. And let's get the new walls while we're at it. All right. The new walls are going to be super cheap. And I suppose we should, let's just get them over here. My progress base is all messed up right now, but that's all right. So 25 new walls. Absolutely want to get these so I can build a new design. There we go. And what else can I get right now with the loot that I have? See the bomb tower expo and the inferno towers too expensive for me right now. Um, new air bomb. Oh, let's get that. We definitely want to get that new trap. There we go. And it actually was a zero second upgrade. So that's awesome. Giant bomb, same thing, zero seconds, so that's awesome. And uh, Seeking Air Mine, same thing. And lastly, the Skeleton Trap. All of those are super, super cheap and immediate upgrades, and they add a huge value to base. Now what I want to do is I want to take these new traps and I want to get them maxed out. I'm probably going to focus on um, uh, the traps with my gold as soon as I get my new defenses put in. But I can't afford them right now. Can't afford anything right now. I can't even afford the new Dark Elixir drill right now. One million Elixir, I don't even have that. So that's kind of sad. But um, guys, I think we've started off really, really well. I mean, we got a uh, we got the, the, the Clan Castle upgraded, which is huge. We got a new camp upgraded, which is also huge. We got the Laboratory upgrading, which is huge. Level 31 Queen. We have all the new traps. And next time, guys, I'm going to try to have max storages once again as soon as possible, maybe even tomorrow, so that we can get some more stuff going in uh, in upgrading. Of course, again, we need the new defenses. By the way, this Town Hall 10 pack is super worth it if you're willing to spend the money. I'm not going to spend the money. I'm not going to spend any money on this series. However, I do have 10,000 gems that I will be investing into hero time. So, guys, I think that's enough information for one episode. It's going to be an extra long episode episode um but we have gotten a lot done today let me see how much is all this going to cost Twenty-five thousand uh gold let's go ahead and do that just just because the walls are now upgraded to level two and can i can i afford any of these upgrades just to kind of fill the uh the builders can i please no oh twenty thousand for a four hour upgrade for the air bomb going level two let's do this in three two one bam there we go. All right, I normally like to use four builders and leave one available to pour extra loot that I farm into walls. So that's the plan. That's what we got going on. A lot of the top priorities done today, but a lot still left to go. And now I've got to rebuild my base because I've got extra walls and buildings. So, oh my, going to be going to be crazy. Well, that's going to be it for me today in this first episode of our Town Hall 10 Let's Play. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Like the video if you liked it. And if you're excited about this new series and hit that subscribe button, join the class family for daily gaming videos. And that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Like, love, and I'll see you guys again next time.